Now look what she's going to do next. I know, Brian, you said it. I mean, we get to see history in the making and how cool we get to actually witness it. We're talking about it to kind of preview it and then we'll get to witness it when it happens. It's going to be really awesome, too. And it, it's funny because I know a lot of people are saying, OK, we've done this before, so why do we need to go again? When this happens, mm -hmm. when we're landing on the moon yeah. for the first time for a completely new generation, it's going to be a huge, huge deal. deal. Uh -huh. It really will be. Yeah, I'm really excited. I know, for it me too. I got chills. I know. About it. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, we're geeks that way. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Kidding. Well done. Oh, we got a clear sky, and there's a lot to see in the night yes. sky once we get there today. Uh, clear blue sky over Graham, Alamance County. Temperatures are warming up pretty quickly over the area. We're going to continue to see some nice weather unfolding for the rest of the day. Before we get to your forecast, since we're talking about space, uh, something cool to see in the evening sky tonight can actually spot the International Space Station. Now it'll be relatively low in the sky, maybe just under a third of the way up. Horizon is zero degrees, straight up is 90 degrees. It'll be about 29 degrees above the horizon. So you don't want to be around a lot of tall buildings when this is going on. The five minute pass begins at 849 tonight. It'll move west, northwest to south, and I believe it's going to be from right to left as you're looking at it. We'll have mostly clear sky guys comfortable conditions. Now while you're out there looking around, if you're looking west pretty close to the origin point when it'll appear across the sky you can very easily find the planet Venus. Look due west after nightfall. It's the brightest thing out there. In fact, next to the moon, it's the brightest uh, second brightest object that we have in the evening sky. Straight up, you can see Mars. Uh, it won't be straight above your heads, but look for a planet not twinkling. The planets don't twinkle. Uh, that'll have a little bit of a yellowish tinge to it and Mercury can make Maybe catch that. I've never seen Mercury, not from a lack of looking. Uh, look toward the horizon right after the sun sets and it just starts to get dark. Mercury is actually its farthest point away from the sun as it's going to be, uh, but it is very close to the sun and that's what makes it very difficult to see sometimes. Our temperatures right now, we're in the lower 70s already and very close to where yesterday's highs uh, came to pass and it's barely noon. Uh, temperatures in the upper 60s farther west. We're starting to see some clouds, some clouds gathering across our western counties. We're not expecting any wet weather today and skies are a perfect shade of blue east of there. But you can see we have some clouds that are starting to gather. Most of it's on the other side of the mountains. Clouds, maybe western foothills could catch a few more. They're starting to kind of move that way, but it's a pretty clear day overall. Uh, warm winds start to take hold in the coming days. Morning lows are going to be close to where a normal high should be in a couple of days. And then some energy out west will help bring some wet weather in that may hang around Thursday through the weekend. There's always a catch, right? Uh, temperatures up near 79 or 80 degrees in the triad today. A normal high is 68 degrees. Southwest winds are going to be relatively light today. Uh, upper 70s for the foothills for a couple of hours in the afternoon from Mount Airy to East Bend today. Uh, mountain temperatures up near 71. Again, extra clouds there. Probably won't be any worse than partly cloudy uh, skies up that way. Our temperatures look very warm over the next three days. Now, they're not record setting, but if we get to 80 three degrees on Wednesday. That's going to be the sixth warmest high temperature ever recorded on April 5th. So uh, certainly in the top five, that's not bad. You can see in the hour by hour forecast how we're going to bring some clouds in first later tonight. Western counties, they'll fade some. We'll be in and out of some mixed skies tomorrow. A very warm day and likely the warmest of the week. Right now I have us at 83 degrees. We'll start to bring in more clouds. Thursday, a very mild morning with temperatures in the mid 60s, warming up into the lower 80s, but we'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms flaring up. Now, some of these storms may pack a punch uh, Thursday into Thursday night, so that's what we'll be watching for. Uh, today's severe weather threat once again for the Midwest, and I said at the top of the show, the second time in five days, they've had a threat level three to four in this general area. It shifts eastward for tomorrow over a very large area, the Mississippi and Ohio valleys for us, it's a much lesser threat, but for now it could contain a few damaging wind gusts and perhaps some large hail. This will be Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. 7 day forecast after Thursday, we really cool down. Highs in the 50s, and right now we have a pretty good chance for showers. That still is a forecast in progress, though, this weekend.